everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, first of all, I'm not sick. I'm not unwell. I, uh, a door of opportunity opened and I went through it. In order to go through it and be with a few artists, I really want to. Hi, Angie. Thank you for popping over here because I can't go on YouTube. I have to do a special YouTube thing because I'm in, I've just got my phone. That's all I've got. And you, you noticed yesterday I didn't pop on. I was flying. Oh, Amy! I know, right? Uh, so uh, basically, let me just share with you. Uh, I did a little, I did quite a bit of this on Terry's Tribe, but uh, I had the door of opportunity to work with an artist that I, I really admire and, uh, and be paid. <laughs> Double the score. Um, but I'm gonna be gone, it's off and on, it's something I can't discuss, but the point is, is that I just couldn't resist the opportunity. And so, thank you, Angie. Um, and so I've got a very simple system. I had to pack very quickly, I had to rush. I got to tell you guys that it was possible, but because it's NDA, I can't talk about it much, but I had to fly. I had to fly. Oh, I was scared, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was scared. But it turns out that it was recommended for me to fly Delta. That's right. The Disney endorsed airline, Delta Airlines, is the one and only way, one, look at here, one, only way to fly. Only way to fly. So if you are terrified of flying, but you've got to for whatever reason, maybe your family, there's someone who is 100 plus years old and you may never see them again and you've got to get together for Thanksgiving even if it's 12 feet apart, even if you're in isolation, you know what I mean. You may have someone you care about very deeply and they're, you know, and they're dangerously, uh, you know, um, terminally ill and you don't want to not see their face or, or in some way be a little closer. Now, honestly, those aren't reasons, but sometimes people don't get it. Well, what I'm telling you, or you get an opportunity like this that I can't talk about, um, and you just do it. And my husband is the one who encouraged me to go because as you all know, he has a heart condition and I was like, eek, 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 eek. But um, he said, go, you're gonna be fine. And I was. So the way it worked is I was COVID tested and um, I was tested, not the one that like takes brain cells from you, but the one that you spit into a cup, which is far more accurate and the results happen quicker. So um, once I was diagnosed as not having, I was, it came up negative, of course. And how is your husband, Deanna, and you? How are you both doing with COVID? I was thinking about you the other day as I was getting on the plane. But uh, I was concerned about the airport. So the first thing you need to know, especially if you do have to travel during Thanksgiving and you do decide maybe you're going to take a plane for whatever reason, no other option. Okay, that was me, no other option. So I was told a few tips about flying during the pandemic. First of all, you wanna pick the correct airline. This correct airline, oddly enough, is Delta Airlines, Disney's endorsed airline. So pick that airline. Chances are you're sky milers anyway because you love Disney. So pick that airline, okay? The second thing I'm gonna tell you is do not pick American. Let me say that again, do not pick American. American has made it very clear through their actions, they don't care at all about your health. Southwest is a good middle of the road, but they don't seem to be, as uh, someone told me on the drive today, they don't, be they don't seem to be enforcing the mask rule. And so, no. Okay guys, no. So let me tell you about Delta. Delta is Bulldogs. They will jump all over you, not physically, but get after you if you don't wear your mask. You're allowed to take it off for eating, but they're watching. They're really watching you. And then they come and gently say, are you done? Okay. Um, the middle seats will be unoccupied. They have made that pledge uh, till at least January 6th, which means gift for you for the holidays is this, all right? Now understand that coach is, uh, oh, excellent. Yay, Deanna says she's, they're doing okay and they're gonna get checked again tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness, I was concerned. Yeah, I was, honey. So I'm glad to hear you're doing okay, yes. So, okay, so that 
is what they do. They watch over you. They, they, and I will tell you what they do, but let me just sort of walk you through my journey. So I had the test. I had to pack. I had to get up at O dark 30 to get an eight o'clock flight. I was, I got an email from Delta that lists in big, big, bold letters, all of the things that you have to honor while working, while being a part of their flight and COVID-19. Very boldly, only two carry-on bags and it doesn't matter whether you're first class or not, one personal item and the carry-on bag. Nothing new with that, but they're strict about it. I Sometimes if you're first class, they let you skate a little bit because you're paying extra money. Okay, but not this time. No, 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 no. Also, they, I was told that a lot of airlines don't feed you, so it's good to bring food. I didn't know what I was going to do. I need to have protein, but I packed the best I could. And then, um, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I have to be there two hours. They kept saying and they kept texting me because I am a sky miler. Two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. Good morning, Ava. Two hours, two hours, two hours. Get there two hours. And I was like, why for a domestic flight? Do I have to get there two hours? And then the door parted at LAX and it was all revealed to me. The line went to Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> it was unbelievable. And I went, and that was to check a bag. So this is people who had their boarding passes already. The line was huge. And there was no way I couldn't check a bag or I would have, you know I would have. But I had to take a few artsy tools and things. So uh, I had to take a bag. Turned out everybody was social distancing to the best of their abilities. Some forgot, but then they would look down and see these giant dots and go, oh, 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 and they would back up. And when I've gone to LAX in the past, it's usually Southwest that is full to the rafters with people. This time it was Delta. Delta was just full of people. Uh, it seems like the word has gotten out because of people like me. I want you all safe too, right? So I'm going to tell you about Delta if it was a good experience. It was an amazing experience. Now, the airport is something. You need to be aware. Don't be looking at your phone while walking. Pay attention to the people around you because they don't necessarily social distance. Not because they're being obstinate, but because they forget we have these habits. And so you just simply start to distance. You don't even have to say anything to the person behind you because if you step back from the person in front of you, that person watches and just like monkey see, monkey do, they all do it, okay? So a lot of times going through security, this is where it gets a little bit, you know? Now, if you're like me, you're TSA pre. You need to, and if you're not TSA pre, now is a good time to be TSA pre. It costs you, uh, it costs you around, I think it's $75 to be TSA pre. But if you think you're gonna fly international in the future, like in the next 10 years, I would suggest uh, global entry, which is $25 more, but it hits both. It becomes your TSA and your global. Whereas if you do it separately, like I did, it's 75 for TSA and then another $100 for global. Now, if you're with a company like American Express, they pay those fees for you because they want you to do it. So if you use your American Express card, when you apply for these things, they give you a credit back for it. So they pay for it. So that's pretty cool. Um, especially now during the pandemic when like nobody's flying, right? Okay, so I walk in, see massive amounts of people who have their, who have their boarding pass and who, um, how do I say this? And have a bag. So it's a big long line, but we made it. We made it through this big long line. We were safe. Okay. We were, I, we, we, uh, it's just me, but we we're safe. But again, be aware when you're going through the airport. Okay. Be aware, back away, dodge, parry, whatever. Okay. Now my plan was to, um, and, and I, and I was loaded for bear. Okay. What happened was I was put in comfort plus. If you can pay for Comfort Plus, I'm gonna tell you something about Comfort Plus that will make it a little more appealing, all right? And that is a lot of people don't wanna pay for the, for the um, exit row or Comfort Plus. 
That this is the way my flight looked, okay? I can't speak for all flights. I speak for my flight. But as a result, there was nobody in my aisle. I got my entire row. And then there was the aisle. And then the woman across from me had the entire row. She was up against the window. I was up against the window, like 12 plus feet. Score, right? Score. There was a man on the aisle behind us, but he had no one in his aisle and he had no one on either side. So he sat in the middle giving us, me and him, six feet. You see? So it was fabulous. It was absolutely fabulous. There was a woman directly in front of me who was so into disinfecting, I think she disinfected me as well. So it was all cool. However, I was ready, okay? I created a little kit. So the first thing in my kit was my wipes. Okay, these are my moist wipes, the Lysol wipes. And I wiped down everything too. I wasn't too concerned because the girl, if I had missed anything, this girl would have got it, right? But I had them in the Ziploc bag like this, okay? But let me tell you something about, and I had a pair of gloves. So here are my gloves. But let me tell you something. Delta gave me wipes. Look, these are my Delta wipes. So they give them to you so that if you're uncomfortable, you, they give it to you. Melissa, I think they're making money because everybody is going to Delta because they're safe. I felt safe. I felt really safe. The airport was a little dicey. I'm not going to lie for you. It's LAX, right? But as long as you're aware, you can, you know, dodge that gauntlet. And then as I was dodging the gauntlet, I saw this sign. And it said, Delta offers now a way to order food. Contactless. What? And here it is. It's called Breeze. Let me get the handle out of the way. Breeze. Cute little plane, isn't it? Nice little. And there's a girl in a teal, this, 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 this pretty teal color, just like Tiffany's, right? And she's standing there and she says, no waiting, no waiting. And so what happens is there's a QR code on a big poster. Delta introduces Breeze. Get your food, contactless. I'm going to try this, right? Because I got you guys out there. If I'm afraid, there's people out there, meaning you, that are afraid also. So I walked up. I said, how does this work? She said, take your phone, put it on your camera, put it on the QR code, QR code menu popped up. And it's food like a immunization, you know, build your immune system smoothie. It's quite delicious. Paper straw, those are a drag. But the smoothie was delicious. I got a ham sandwich because I got to have protein, like I told you. Uh, I had already got my oatmeal at Starbucks and a Starbucks. But the bag was big enough that I could put everything inside the bag. The bag does not count as one of your carry-on items because they know you're going to eat the food and they're going to dispose of it, right? Pretty cool, huh? Had all kinds of cool stuff that you could order. Now, it might be a little high-end, but it's, it's, you know, they're working to keep it safe. So we're going to say it's a little expensive because they're doing this whole COVID thing. But it was amazing. And it also has a thing where you don't have to plug your card in, uh, touch anything. You just put it in front of your camera. It looks at it, and then you have to enter some important information about your card. So it's not all, you know, to keep you safe too, right? But here's the thing. Once I got my wonderful Breeze bag, I went over to my gate. Now, the gate at first looked a little scary. But the funny thing is, lots of places you can sit with lots of social distancing. First of all, they make sure every other seat has got a big seal that says, remember to social distance. Basically, don't sit your butt here unless you're family, right? And plenty of places to seat. If you fly a lot, you know that's, that's usually not the case, right? Right up at the front desk where you go to check in if you happen to be someone who has a carry-on bag and have a question or whatever, the lady at the little computer. It has that same QR code with the same breeze symbol so that if you happen to miss that giant sign that they had, you can do it right there and walk back and pick up your food, not far. Really is fantastic. 
The lady comes on and what she does, and this is the thing about every single one I saw at Delta, every single flight personnel that I saw at Delta, if you started to gather because you were eager to get on your flight, she walked and separated you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't do that. And she says it very nice, good sense of humor, bright, sunny personality. We're gonna board from the back of the plane to the front of the plane, 10 people only. And she keeps that very clear and she makes sure, or he, makes sure you social distance. It's incredible. I don't think I could feel so safe. I felt very safe. Once you get to your seat, surprise, there's overhead bend space. What? I mean, you really don't have to go like, oh my God, where's my bag gonna be? Am I gonna have to check my bag? None of that. You have huge bend spaces. Why? No center seats, right? Nobody's in those center seats. So your bag goes up, you know, or under the seat in front of you, or even better yet, under the center seat in front because nobody's sitting there. In my case, it could have been the entire row because nobody was there. So let me say that again. Coach can be jam-packed, meaning every seat but the middle seat is full. And since the holidays are coming, you can almost guarantee this will be the case, right? But a lot of people don't like to pay the extra money for Comfort Plus or the exit row. So here's a tip for you. Try and afford that. Save up now so that you can buy that seat and possibly have no one next to you. It was fabulous. And they fed me. Now, they didn't actually like super feed me, but they fed me, okay? And this is what they fed me. They gave me this cute little bag right here. And it has water. I kept one because they gave me two. They didn't give you two at once. They gave you one in the beginning and then one middle of like near, I think like an hour into your flight or whatever. Um, a couple hours, you know, just to be safe. They, they really, they really pamper you. I, I, I felt pampered, honestly. But they give you this. They give you this biscuit that has the Delta logo on it. You see the Delta logo right here. And then they gave you these chips, which I've eaten. I put the bag in here so you got to see everything. And a little napkin that, that says recycle. Yeah, I recycled it into my Breeze bag and brought it here to my hotel. But uh, it's in a Ziploc bag, which is reusable. And you get, later on, they give you another one, which is, this is my second one, actually, and I ate the chips out of it because I felt like it. But that's what's super cool. That is what's super cool. And then on my flight, they gave free beer and wine. If I had drank everything they offered me, I would not have been able to get off the plane. So I simply sort of hit it and took it with me. Uh, but, like I said, it is, hi, Julie, it is, it was, ah, it was wonderful. And for those of you who have been noticing, if you have flown before, and I did all year yesterday, over 55 times, all over the world, what you'll notice is that the planes were starting to not have that screen with movies in the back of the seat in front of you. Well, because of COVID, they want to control what you've got. So they now, it doesn't pop out like some of those did, but they can wipe it down very quickly because it's flush with the seat. They can make sure it's disinfected. They can make sure the touch screen is disinfected. They can make sure the seat around all of that, the tables, everything is disinfected. Very easy, bum, 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 as opposed to people who have their computer, their phone. I mean, you're still going to have that on the counter, but not as much if someone is like me and just wants to sit and watch a movie or whatever and get from A to Z as quickly as possible, right? So it works out just great. My thought was, if I was gonna have someone in the seat next to me, was to entomb myself in a hoodie, you know, like you see the kids nowadays, the headphones are on there, and they have like a little hole right here, and you're in the back saying, I'm sleeping, peace. You know, so that you're kind of facing the window seat. That's why window seat is better. I'm always an aisle seat person, honestly but I was told window seat. So you curl up in that window seat if you've got someone over there and then make sure you go to the bathroom because there was no way I was gonna walk the gauntlet down the aisle to get to the bathroom with it full. You know, you're walking past people on either side. You know, so I wasn't about to do that. So what I'm telling you is that I'm not fearless. 
but I had to get this done. I had, this was a mission. I, I wasn't going to miss this opportunity and I had to get it done. So in order to get it done, this is what I did. I flew Delta. I flew Delta. And that's what I'm saying. You know, pack your gloves, pack your wipes, pack a little food bag if you have any concerns, but do me a favor. Keep yourself safe if you're flying for Thanksgiving or you have to fly for Christmas or holiday, Kwanzaa, you know, Hanukkah, whatever. Fly Delta. Book it now and fly Delta, okay? Be safe. Fly Delta. I think I've said it enough, but I'll say it one more time. Fly Delta. Seriously, I'm not a Delta fan, but I could not believe how safe I felt on that flight. And it doesn't stop there. When we land, they make an announcement, very clear, you are to conduct yourself appropriately when exiting. So again, you need to bear in mind six feet distance, be patient, and boom. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It was that great. And uh, I'm happy to say that it was very cool. And yesterday I was tested, tested again for COVID-19 and I'm negative. So you can do it. You can do it. Um, I will, yes. It's going to be just before Thanksgiving and thank you, Deanna. But again, it's going to be Delta or I will walk home. That's how strongly I feel about it. I was thinking when I first thought, I said, could I drive it? You know, could I drive this distance? But it was just a little bit too far for me to do it. And they were too concerned that I would be, you know, a woman driving alone. That could even be scarier, right? So the flight was, was yeah, flying. I love flying. I miss flying. I love flying. Love flying. Oh, I love flying. So uh, I was excited. Once I was allowed to be excited, I was excited. And I was in row number 13, which was even extra special, you know, hitchhiking ghosts, 13, it just, it just all fit together nicely, and I was very happy. But that's why I'm coming to you at odd times now. So I, don't, I won't be doing an AMA on Friday because I have to work. But I will pop in whenever I can. If I can't, I will post, okay? I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you, that I love you, and that I know we've got holidays coming up, and some of you may have to fly. And so I want it to be as comfortable and confident and good for you to do so. You know, you've, 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 yeah, yeah. Cause, cause I, I was scared. You know, I'm the one that when I'm on vacation, I put these little Ziploc bags over my hand to pump gas and then they go in the trash. I don't wear gloves cause then you still gotta peel them. You know what I mean? So I, I have a friend who's super, you know, he was a germaphobe before. It's the germaphobes, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, acknowledgement, no, um, endorsement. It endorses, all the germaphobes are getting their, getting their, you know, their words. But he said he, he gets cheap sandwich bags, keeps a box in his car, puts a couple of those on, pumps his gas, and then you can just go like this and they fall off. And they're not stuck on your fingers and stuff. It works. It works a treat. So uh, uh, you got to, you got to, you know, so I was doing that. When I went on my vacation in front of the ocean with my husband, didn't leave for three days. Packed an entire member menu, designed the entire menu with a microwave, a refrigerator, and a coffee maker, okay? Because I did not want to go around stupid people. So I get that it's a scary thing. Believe me, I did not disregard it. But I will tell you that when I pump gas, even though I had these little things, I looked for a gas station that had nobody in it. Okay, I didn't want to even want to be, you see? So when it came to flying, I was nervous. But you don't have to be nervous. Be cautious. But you don't have to be nervous as long as you fly Delta. Please, only fly Delta unless you hear of another airline that is bulldoggy as these people are, are every single one is so dedicated to your safety, even over their own safety. Seriously, they're doing something nice for someone else. And that someone else just happens to be me. So I, oh, I can't thank them enough. I really felt strongly to share this with you guys because I know you may have to go see family and friends and driving is just not an option for you at that point. 
and I want you to know, just fly that airline, whatever it takes, fly that airline, okay? On a happier note, I got to watch the news today. I watched local news and I saw, it wasn't local, but I saw, please Google, uh, man creates the Matterhorn in backyard. That's right. Remember how I'm constantly saying, if you want something done, you post your dream because Disney will be watching. Well, here we go. Just do it. He created the entire Matterhorn roller coaster, sculpted mountain, complete with the Yeti in his backyard. You need to see it. It's amazing. I just ran in and didn't catch his name, but it's amazing. It's amazing. It's brilliant. And he's thinking of doing something else in his backyard, but you'll just, you'll get a kick out of it. This is one of the things that makes COVID-19 a little bit tolerable is the creativity people come up with, right? Um, so yes, Tamara, wasn't it amazing? What was the name of that guy who did it? Did you happen to catch that, Tamara? I just was so impressed, so impressed and so happy for that person. And that person is the next Imagineer, guys. I really feel it. That's what I'm talking about. You wanna do it, you post it, you say you missed it. He should have posted his dream if he wanted to be an Imagineer. But you all know that's what you do, right? You post something like that and you say, hey, I'd sure like to design for Disney someday. The nice thing is the news people here said, he should do that for Disney someday. There you go. Somebody else is saying it for you. So if you want to do it, just do it, make it happen. And it's just cool to see that today, right? That was anxious. That was really amazing and cool. If you live in California, and uh, thank you, Leo, for sort of sharing with me what's happening in California, because with the election being front of mind, the pandemic was not front of mind. It was front of my mind. But uh, you wanted to ride it. Yeah, wasn't it amazing? It was amazing. Anyway, so I don't know what COVID-19 is doing in California, but I hear it all over the country, it's gotten bad and getting worse. So to see these little stories of good, joyful creativity helps your heart and then post your dream, but you do it too, add to it. And if you wanna know how or how to do it or you don't know how to start, then you need to join Terry's tribe, I'm just gonna say. You got to join my tribe and uh, talk to the artists and, and the non-artists in there. You will be surprised how fa fantastically interesting, how wonderfully lovely and joyful the people who don't think they are artists are. And then you're going to get people like Michael Roman who say they're not an artist and then they sort of turn out to be one. You know, he he's up some really killer cool squash imagine what he'd do with a pumpkin i mean he's incredible he really is michael he was just gonna watch and then he sculpted i'm not kidding so that's a great place for you to go uh janny is in the house hi janny um you got artists like janny over there at the tribe you get a lot of positive input and we talk about art and being strong, staying strong, and we love on each other. And then if you're someone who has something that's on your mind that you want to talk about, it's private. It's a private page. So go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Terry Harden, and join. Join. $5 a month. So just join. It's not that expensive. We have a Zoom call whenever we can. This month is dicey because of my situation. But I'm pretty, pretty consistent. Yes. And I'm getting better every day because it's a goal, right? So uh, I love you guys so much. You mean so much to me. I really had to make sure I got on here. Um, and then uh, Friday, I won't be doing an AMA. And then the following Friday, I won't be doing an AMA because I'll still be gone. But I will do my best to pop on when I can and kind of talk to you. But uh, uh if you saw my post, you saw that I started my Lego for my birthday, my Totoro Lego, and I'm so excited. In fact, uh, I don't have to do anything much later today, but just stay in a box. They, they move us from one box to another box because you cannot be out, you know, you cannot go out and see stuff or do anything. Not allowed. We're like, we're like the lockdown that happened in Florida with uh, the basketball players. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, we're, we're in a bubble and we only are allowed to have masks off when all the artists are together and then when all the artists are apart before we even walk away from the project that we're doing, we have to mask up again. Yeah. So it's very interesting. I'll keep you posted. I'll tell you all about it because it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating to be a part of this. Very fascinating. Yes. So, uh, it's awesome. Um, thank you, Linda. Uh, uh, other personalized messages. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> I love you guys, and I hope that you will join and be a part of it. Like I said, we do a treasure chest, and um, the treasure chest is amazing. In fact, I got to tell you a quick story. My friend Randy, he's on um, in the tribe. Okay, so we all got together as a tribe. There's there's a it's a, there's a good amount of us. It's not you know thousands, but it's it's quality people. It's like really cool people, and. Uh, that's what Tamara will tell you, that they're very, very quality. Um, and see, she says she's not an artist, but she enjoys seeing others work. And then we, we pester her because we want her to be in the spotlight. But you'll learn all about that. Join and we'll, we'll, we'll clue, clue you in. But there's a private page. And also um, what happens is like, Tamara, you're not an artist, but you can see the works. But you, you, we encourage you to try something because actually she is an artist. She just doesn't know it yet, you see. Um, Right, and, and, and Jenny's part of it too, and she's a very talented artist. You actually should take a look at her work because it's amazing. And But what I'm saying is, you know, this place is a great place for you to dust off the, the, the pressures of the world. You won't get swept up in the magma because we've kind of insulated ourselves, not blind to it, but just uh, eye of the hurricane type thing where we sit and we breathe and we, we feel good about who we are and we learn. But some of the most fascinating people are some in the tribe, so many in the tribe that are not artists. Every single one. Generous to a fault, warm as warm as love itself. And so if you want to be in a little on a little island that's comfy and comfy and cool for as low as five dollars a month, you can be a part of it. That's the the level that I'm really focusing on. I'm getting ready other levels I'm doing it to working on, but the point is, is that I understand it's COVID and this will always be $5 a month for you guys because you're very, and it's a good time to join because I'm, a, I'm giving away Christmas gifts. No, 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 nothing you have to open. It's going to be digital because I have people in London and Australia and shipping can be crazy and they sometimes miss out if you, you mail something to them and I don't want them to do that or they have to pay for it or whatever. So what we do is, um, um, and thank you. Linda for joining. She's our newest member to the tribe. And I would love for you to talk about yourself and be in the spotlight at some point. So honestly, it's such a cool experience and a cool place. Not because it's mine, but it's because of the people who joined. I did it and didn't know what I was gonna do with it, to be honest with you guys. You know, I kinda had my head sort of focused on a YouTube channel. But this is something that's, it's, it's, it's very, important it's a group of people who care about each other and really support each other no matter where they come from and i love it so there you go i know it sounds like an ad i can't help it because i want you to be in there i am i'm selfish i want you to be in there but uh but uh uh be well be happy i hear california is cool of course it is god loves to punk me but uh, it's supposed to rain in my location, so I'm going to actually get to see it rain, which is going to be shocking to me because, I mean, like, really rain. You know, like, you better have an umbrella or you'll drown. Rain is what I'm being told. So I get to see that. But uh, do something nice for someone you care about. Yesterday, I spent the day calling people I had not heard from in a while. And uh, not because I wanted to do something nice for them, but I really wanted to hear their voice. I surprised my best friend, actually. Her birthday is today. Shout out to Lynette Eklund. I love you, my best friend. Um, and I surprised her with a gift. I saw a gift probably a few months ago that I just thought she would get a kick out of, and I actually mailed it, get this guy's, in time for her birthday. Oh, no, right. <laughs> so much happening with so much not happening, and you still can miss that mailing date. But I actually got it to her. So I love you guys. You're so special. You're so, you mean so much to me. 
Thank you for being a part of my heart and my life. And I'll see you as soon as I can and post if I can. Okay? I promise.